Hey guys, we are in the basement and we're gonna be starting a brand new restoration series. That's right, we're gonna be restoring another game and this is gonna be the first part in this new series. And this video here is gonna be kind of like an introduction to the restore. We're gonna show you the game in its current state and we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do. And then in the coming weeks, we're gonna be doing all of the work. Now this restoration series should be a lot shorter than the Gyrus Restore. And actually, I'm okay with that because I'm not ready for another epic restore right now after finishing Gyrus. Um, and thankfully, this game is in much nicer original shape, but it has some issues. It has some problems, very minor, mostly cosmetic, some electronic, not too bad. And this game actually shares a lot with in common with Gyrus because it is another century game. It is another game that was developed by Konami, just like Gyrus right here. And this game was released in 1982, and the game we're gonna be talking about is called Time Pilot. And it was actually a favorite of mine as a kid. And you know what, I picked it up tonight, it showed up on Craigslist, the price was right, and I just kinda went for it. So anyway, I tell you what, why don't we go to the garage and I will show you guys the state of Time Pilot today and we'll talk about what we're going to be doing in the upcoming videos. All right guys, here it is. Here is the Time Pilot and I actually just picked it up about an hour ago and here it is as it is um, as I picked it up. Um, the thing is filthy. Uh, not too bad, but it is definitely very, very dirty. Um, it's actually, though, in pretty good original shape. I mean, everything is here. It's 100% original. It was actually in someone's house for 25 years, if, if you can believe that. Um, so it was a pretty good find. Um, and everything is here, which is so important, you know. Um, and the original artwork is actually in pretty decent shape. It was very dirty, though, when I, when I got it home here. Um, I started cleaning it, and I actually stopped myself because I wanted to film some of this. Um, but I came home here. And let me show you. Um, I took some simple green and some paper towel and I just started scrubbing the side art. And all, look at this, look at this black dirt that just came off of it. And so the artwork is looking pretty good. You know, the artwork is not perfect, right? However, it's legit, man. This is 100% original 80s battle worn arcade game. You know, we've got the scratches, we've got the fade, we've got the, you know, the hand marks where someone picked. And there's just something about this because this is a relic. This is not a freakish restore where everything is reproduced and digitally printed in, in the year 2013. This is the original deal, man. And I am not going to be harming any of this artwork or anything. Um, the original control panel overlay looks really good, actually. Um, it's got a couple little issues here in the corners. No big deal. So what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to take uh, some magic eraser. We're going to clean this up. And I guarantee you that when we get done with this, this thing is going to be popping with bright colors. It's going to be looking badass, actually. Um, it has has the original joystick here. This is called the Monroe um, style joystick. It's, it's actually a Mon Monroe brand joystick. And Gyrus has the same exact joystick. It's a very unique joystick and you really need to have this joystick for this game and also for, uh, for Gyrus. Um, the metal parts here, you know, kind of same deal we had on Gyrus. They're all rusted. So we're gonna be sanding those and painting those top and bottom. Uh, the marquee, this is one piece I'm going to be replacing though, because once we get the bulb fixed here, you're gonna see that this this right here is gonna be unacceptable. So I'm gonna find another marquee. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, this game is fairly common, so um, I don't think I'll have a hard time at all, but I'm really happy at all the artworks here, even the artwork on the front. Now the coin door, not as cool as the coin door I have on my gyrus and my track and field because it has the Century logo. Um, but for whatever reason, they sometimes use that logo coin door and sometimes they didn't. I don't know if in the beginning uh, of the run they did or didn't. And, and I don't even know if they really did on Time Pilot. It might just, been, it might just depend on when it was they were producing the games. But uh, why don't we plug it in? I'll kind of show you what's going on here. Uh, the game does work, which makes me very happy. Um, and we're going to be uh, installing the high score safe kit in it, just like we're going to do in the gyrus eventually when I get a legit board. Um, but I went to the, the person's house and uh, was very happy to see it working. And you can see here the monitor is, is really dirty. Uh, 
the uh, the bezel here is filthy. Uh, the picture looks a little cloudy. Um, I think a lot of this this has to do with the fact that it's dirty. So we're gonna clean it all up. We're gonna adjust the monitor in the back. And I guarantee you that after I clean this up, I'm gonna clean the, the plastic bezel right here. And we're gonna clean the glass on the monitor. And we're gonna do some minor adjustments with probably the focus and uh, the screen, which is basically like the brightness and the sharpness. And I, I guarantee you this picture is gonna look great. Um, let's go back here and we'll probably cap the monitor um, just because it's all original and it is the original 4900 monitor which is the same monitor that we had in the gyrus um, it's a wells gardner monitor it's actually one of the best monitors out there um, and it works which is fantastic and it has no screen burn which is mega important because if you remember the gyrus um, the gyrus had really nasty screen burn and there's just nothing you can do about that I mean the tube is just done because what happens is the, the same picture stays on the screen for so long in, in the arcade you know 12 14 hours a day um, and so the logo just burnt a hole in, in the tube and that's it you're just done but uh, so we have the original power supply in here and this is an original switching power supply um, I may or may not replace that uh, I'll test the voltages to make sure it's in spec I actually probably should have done that before I turned it on but I didn't um, it has the original board here it says Konami thank God it's not a bootleg so we can install the high score safe kit in here um, there are a lot of cobwebs in here and it's just dusty and dirty but you know what it's not bad and uh, you can see up here the bulb is kind of working, probably needs a new starter, so I'll replace the bulb and the starter. Um, but yeah, the marquee's not going to fly. Everything else is going to, though. And you can see here it's got the original Time Pilot serial number. Um, this is cabinet number 1739. That's pretty cool. Um, I have no idea how many of these they made, but this is the 1739th one that they did make. Um, and we also have a Century tag over here. Um, it says Time Pilot, uh, I can't really read it, it's faded. Uh, model 110 slash 120 volt, serial number. Um, we have the matching serial number right here, 1739, which is important. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. But uh, wow, it got foggy there. We lost focus. We'll be working on this over the coming weeks, and uh, I mean, it already looks pretty good, right? I mean, it's gonna look that much better when I get done with it. And and then we gotta figure out where we put it in the arcade. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, that's it. That is Time Pilot. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos uh, in this new restoration series. And uh, by the way, I, I like this game. I've ever told you that? You know, when I was a kid, uh, when I was about 16 years old, I worked at uh, at, uh, at Chuck E. Cheese. It was actually a Little Caesars at the time, and uh, and uh, I I worked there for two weeks, and that was it. I made pizzas. It was the worst job I ever freaking had, and. Uh, and what happened was, uh, at the end of the shift, at the end of the day, we were we were we they let us go into the arcade and play games. And this this little Caesars was just like Showbiz Pizza. It was like a it was like one of these Playland places with birthday parties and all that crap, and ball pits and and then like you know a hundred arcade games. And so at the end of our shift, at the end of the, when they closed down this, this, the restaurant, we got to go in the arcade and play the games as much as we wanted. And this was one of the games I used to play when I was 16. I used to play. I remember specific. Time Pilot, Baby Pac-Man, Tron, and Pengo. And so far now, I've owned all of those games, now that I have Time Pilot, but I've never owned Pengo. So I suspect at some point in my life, I'm going to be getting a Pengo, because those were the four games that I remember the most when I worked at Little Caesars. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy to have this, I gotta say. It is actually a really cool game, and when we get all done, we'll do a game review and all that, and and we'll really show you how it plays. But it's but basically, it's, it's kind of like this... Uh, let me throw a credit in here. It's uh, it is a uh, like a shooter game, you know, where this thing, the joystick here, rotates your uh, your plane in a circle, okay, and then the fire button basically 
kills the guys. And I cannot do this with one hand. And what you do is you start out like in World War II, or actually it's biplanes right now, and then you'll start progressing through time. So right now we're fighting biplanes, and then we'll start fighting, you know, uh, a World War II planes, and then we'll fight jets, and then UFOs. And when you clear the level, you kind of space warp in, in, through time into the next air battle. And it's actually very cool. And you can see on the side art, uh, they have, you know, the UFOs and the jets and the helicopters and the biplanes and the zeppelins and all that. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, it really actually is. So that's it, guys. Why don't we go back down to the basement? All right, guys, there you have it. That was the introduction to the Time Pilot Restore. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And then, you know, keep watching. I'll be posting uh, videos here over the next few weeks, um, documenting the progress of the Restore. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy these Restore videos because, uh, you know what, I, I actually was kind of bummed when I finished the Gyrus because I, I had nothing to do. <laughs> I mean, I could have found some little things to do down here, but I really needed another project for the garage, especially in the summer. Because I actually, I love being out there in the summer, like on the weekends. There's just something very therapeutic about going out there and working on the games, especially after a long, stupid day at work. So, all right, guys, there you have it. That's it. Uh, thanks for subscribing to my little channel. You know, I do release new videos every Sunday. Yes, I know this video was late this week. I apologize. But... Uh, if you subscribe to my channel, uh, you'll get an alert when I upload videos. So if you want to keep up with them, you definitely got to push that subscribe button. And also, I do a podcast every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on the All Games Radio Network at allgames.com. The podcast is called Video Game Outsiders, um, and our website is videogameoutsiders.com. All right, guys, that is it. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, and bye. <laughs>